is the time to stand. Right now is the time to stand. Today, Representative Matt Shea leading a protest at Spokane City Hall, railing against Governor Inslee's stay-at-home order. Tyranny is a disease. A virus, if you will. And I submit to you that we should tell Governor Inslee today that it is our aim to quarantine tyrants. But starting next year, any message Shea hopes to send the governor will no longer be sent as a member of the state house. Only a few hours after that protest, the filing deadline passed. And on the list of people running for state house, Shea was not among them. Instead, he's chosen to run for Republican precinct captain in a Spokane Valley neighborhood, a role that basically amounts to hyper-local grassroots organizing and a significant decrease in power from state representative. Mainstream Republicans have been urging Shea to step down ever since an investigation last year found he'd engaged in an act of domestic terrorism. The House GOP removed him from their caucus, but he kept his seat. He's also continued making public appearances, publishing campaign literature, and raising money. He's reported donations as recently as late April. His website still in fact says re-elect Matt Shea, but tonight's surprising decision means unless he changes his mind and runs a write-in campaign, there will be no re-election. As for the nearly $50,000 in his war chest, that money can be given to charity, to a political party, back to donors, or theoretically transferred to his campaign for precinct captain, if the donors okay it. So, who will take the seat? Well, that gets interesting too. Democrat Lori Fagan has raised more than 40 grand. Her campaign was initially built on tapping into statewide anti-Shea sentiment. Instead, she'll face Republican Representative Bob McCaslin. He actually currently holds position two in the same district, but decided to run for position one this time meaning Fagan will be facing an effective incumbent with more establishment backing, also running Mike Conrad and David Whitehead. And that leaves position two newly open. Running for that seat, former GOP Representative Leonard Christian, who temporarily served in 2014 on an appointment basis. Opponents include Democrat Lance Gorell, who recently lost a bid for Spokane Valley City Council, and former Spokane County Treasurer Rob Chase, who has defended Shea and promoted coronavirus conspiracy theories. Rounding out the ballot are Will DeWitt and Nathan Sabrandi. Filing day in Spokane will represent a monumental shift in both local and state politics, as the government is now poised to lose one of its most debated members. Casey Decker, Krem 2 News.